So nasal vestibulitis, uh, one of the uh, nurse practitioners at our place was commenting to me that she had noted a number of patients getting chemotherapy that, and other treatments in the chemotherapy suite that had a lot of trouble with nose symptoms, running, bothersome pain, bleeding, that sort of thing. Um, she was persistent with me in this over time and said that she actually thought she had a, a spray that was helpful for things. I talked with a young, bright oncology fellow who took on the task of looking at this further. And what she did was she interviewed 100 patients who had received treatment in the chemotherapy suite, at least six doses of that over six weeks, and asked them, do they have any nose symptoms, nasal vestibulitis, nose and the vestibule of the nose, itis is inflammation of that area, so that's where you get the term. And she interviewed them asking if they had, she had, they had any nose symptoms after they started their treatment that they didn't have before they started their treatment, that they think might be related to the chemotherapy. And this, let me back off, this is something that's not well appreciated in the medical literature, and not a symptom complex there. So when talking to those patients, it was 41% of them that actually said, yes, they were having those symptoms. When we broke it down in more detail, because these people were getting a variety of different treatments, it seemed particularly uh, uh, prominent in patients who were getting taxane therapy, paclitaxel, docetaxel, nab paclitaxel, or who were receiving bevacizumab or other similar drugs to that. Um, so I, she actually put together a nice manuscript, uh, a nice abstract here that describes this phenomenon. Plans are to actually look further and look at this prospectively in patients as they're starting therapy, asking them if they're having no symptoms and if they get no symptoms afterwards over time, over the first three months of therapy, and which chemotherapy or other therapeutic agents seem to be associated with that. So a new symptom complex, if we understand it better, then we may be able to provide treatment for it better.